walking through a maze. It's layers to the truth, walking through a maze. It's layers to the truth, walking through a maze. Man, hit the reset, hit reboot, then we wake. Take a step back, look what you did, then you make proper decisions with proper etiquette. Move a love like Ryoma Etchison. When it's go time, how the body vernacular on a ghost ride, Abu Dhabi vehicle. Get those spirit guns loaded, man. We Let's back. Go. Season two, man. We back. It's official. Shadow, you're a messy in the flesh. Mm. My brother. DJ Farrow, one, two. What's up, everybody? What's up? Get them spirit guns loaded, man. We back. You know what I'm saying? It's official, baby. We back. You know what I mean? DJ Farrow, my brother. How you feeling, my brother? You good? Yo, what's up? What's up? This is you. season two. Season two. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. I ain't, I ain't been on the last couple, but I'm here now. What's up, y'all? Hey, man. My brother here. My brother doing his thing. He was supposed to be on season one, really. The way we had Shadow Talk panned out, we wanted it to be me and my bro. You know what I'm saying? Every episode. But, you know, schedules don't align. His work schedule is heavy. You know what I mean? Grown man-ish. But you going to see my brother DJ <laughs> Farrell a lot more often moving forward on Shadow Talk Podcast, man. You feel me? Yes, sir. Yes, so look, yes, we're going to get straight into it, man. We got a lot of great things to talk about. Um, it's been a lot of great things that we've been doing. You know what I mean? Um, right away. Rap Function, man. Let them know. Man, we got a great lineup coming on Rap Function, y'all. If y'all ain't got y'all tickets now, y'all need to get them while y'all can. Because if you don't, I don't know what else to tell you. Friday, March the 29th, you need to be down. March 29th. Push Cinema, 208 Dolphin Street. We're going to have the ticket link in the bio. Yes. Just click that ticket link and go ahead and check out. Um, You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and check it out. Get you a ticket, cop you a couple. Um, The lineup is fantastic. Young HD, Sayani, Lando Armstrong, Zeta Bull, Malik Rose. Got Jay people. Haynes, Shakur, um, yours truly, Ali Kazam, um, TMP, EAO. Um, am I forgetting anybody? I want to say that's everybody, right? Hold on, I got you. EAO, Shakur, Mahari four times. Yeah. Mahari four times. Young dude, four times. You know what I'm saying? Shouts to my brother. Shouts to Zaire. He put us on. Um, also, I want to give a big, big shout out to Push Cinema, to my yes. brother Zaire. Y'all going to see him on season two. We got an episode dropping with Zaire officially on season two. And um, and we we just did a video with him. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go check out Good featuring Ken Z. You know what I'm saying? Directed by Zaire on our UBH page right now on all platforms. You know what I'm saying? When I come into the rap function, I want to hear that real hip hop. No F-ish. And with that being said, I know y'all wondering why is he not cussing? Ramadan Mubarak to all my brothers and sisters out there. It is Ramadan right now, so you know, I'm li I'm I'm living a totally clean life, mentally, spiritually, everything. You feel me? So this episode is definitely gonna be cuss free on my part. Um, no problem. That is but we after we get through all the good news, we're gonna get to some spicy stuff. We're gonna get to the <laughs> controversy. I know that's what y'all like. We got a lot of things to talk about. To be honest with you, so. Yeah. Um, let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. All right. Um, without further ado, first of all, also on top of the rap function, mic check. No, oh, yeah. Man, mic check was we finally got it to come back at Push Cinema. And it was that first one was phenomenal, man. I had a we had a great showing. A lot of people came through. Um, and it was diverse as always. And we always break new artists on there and just uplift our community and spotlight artists that really deserve. You know what I'm saying? More credit and just deserve a platform to come present their art. You feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you any artists, are y'all trying to get on on any other rap functions or anything like that? My check is where you got to be at to win and and uh, get on to rap functions. That's how that plays out. And and it's a proven ground. Yes. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's an it area really about that. It's just to prove yourself for real. Right. To show your skill set. Right. Right, right, right. It's a good proving ground to come, show your skill set, present your art. Um, it's just a good area to, you know what I'm saying, get your foot in the door yeah. if you're beginning or if you haven't been in, in, in the scene in a long time or whatever. Just kind of like, you know what I'm saying, get the rust off of you. Um, and we got judges there. Shouts to our judges on the first one. We had my guy Big Dave, um, Big Brown, Young HD, 
UBH's own war toy. Um, and then we had a fill in. Shouts to my brother, UBH's own Lando Armstrong, which is, like I said, he's also on the RFX lineup for March 29th. You know what I mean? So, and um, yeah, basically, Mike Check is going to be back officially every month, man. So y'all, y'all, y'all stay tuned with that. Same thing with Rap Function. We're back. It's a staple in the community. The people wanted it. And we're here to provide it for the community, for the people, for the hip hop scene that we love, the music scene that we absolutely love. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what it's about, man. You know, DJ Farrell started out with us on Rap Function 7. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Seven. <laughs> Talk about it, man. How'd you feel when you came into it? Seven, going all the way up, coming up to this a whole nother ball game, man. Y'all, it's, it's culture, the vibes, the energy, the people you meet. The amount of people that you can learn from and right. every day, like you just don't know who you might meet. You know what I mean? Right. That's why I love it so much. Right. And rap function is just a stepping stone for me to show out my skill set and my abilities, man. You know? Yeah. And not just me, other artists, other people in the city, you know? Right, right. So like I said, rap function been here a long time and y'all were trying to really get into it, you know, come to us, you wanna come to our shows. We here every month. Facts, facts. And you know, when he got back in um, two months after that or, or a month, I, I forget the time, but uh, that's when DJ Wait A Minute came into play. And DJ Wait A Minute is, you know, the head of UBH Media, you know, the president of UBH Media. He runs everything far as Shadow Talk Pod, far as, y'all gonna see a lot of music videos, a lot of stuff coming. He, we already, he already dropped Ghost Rare. Y'all go check out Ghost Rare, phenomenal video, and plenty more work to come. Uh, especially with the production, just the jack of all trades, man, and, and does everything at the highest level, you know what I'm saying? And challenge my brother to step yeah. his game up yeah. in the DJ and beat making yeah. sphere. And we all just grow with each other, you yeah. know what I'm saying? We all just make each other better. Like, yes. that's what it is over here at UBH. And, you know, over here at UBH, we definitely are actively looking for more artists that we want to bring on. You know, like, what type of requirements would you say that we're looking for? Somebody that's not, I mean, we don't got, we, I ain't got no problem with nobody with they, with the street and all that. I ain't got nothing with that. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that at the end of the day. But I mean, if you not, if you in it just for the money, mm. then you, you got to keep step. Keep that's keep, a good point. Because we ain't about We that. passionate about passionate what we do. about what we doing. Yeah. It's not we love just about this. the money. That's going right. to come at the end of the day. This, right. This is a learning experience. It's a, it's a spiritual movement situation. It ain't just about... Yeah. Real shadow talk. Instead in the third. Real shadow talk. Just trying to. I'm just. I just want to be out there just to make an impact on what's going on. Y'all just trying to get it for the money. It ain't yeah. even about that. Y'all need to get it for high learning purposes of a situation. Right. 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 You know. Yeah, man. So, artists out there that have an original yeah. um, sound to them. You're not scared. You're not scared to put yourself out there. You're not Don't scared. Don't be afraid. To put be a, be a top for, for performer. And one thing about it is over here at UBH, like a real friend and a real comrade is going to challenge you. They don't want you to just keep being like subpar and being whatever. I think there's too much subpar activity in hip hop these days. There's too many people that's just doing things at like a decent level and they think like, oh, this is good enough or whatever the case may be. We don't live like that. We don't live like it's good enough, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna challenge each other and we're gonna be like, yo, you could get better at this, yo, you could do that better, you know what I'm saying? So, what's going on, everything good? Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> just making sure, no technical difficulty. Sure. But, um, but you know, I just, wanna, I just wanna speak on a lot of the good news. And by the way, as y'all see, we got on the Rap Function merch, you know what I'm saying? So we got the Rap Function merch. Um, officially, you know, this is the first, this is the first one. So when y'all come to uh, a rap function on the 29th, by the way, this is rap function 12, you know what I'm saying? It's XII. So when y'all come, we're going to have the rap function merch and we got mic check merch now as well. So y'all definitely come cop that. And, you know, also we launched our website, ubhrap.com, ubhrap.com. Everything is on there as far as our merch, as far as our uh, project releases, music videos, even the Shadow Talk podcast will be on there. We're going to be integrating it and updating it as time goes on. Um, my brother DJ, wait a minute, is thoroughly studying right now web design. So we finna be leveling up big time. You feel me? You feel me? So continue to stay tuned with that. Um, I got my topics written because what inspired the timing of Shadow Talk podcast coming back right now is because there's a lot of chit chatter going on in the city far as... 
I'm gonna just go ahead and say it, bro. Say it. <laughs> it's a lot of thro- it. it's a lot, it's a lot of rocks being thrown at us. Yeah. And people trying to hide their hand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And one of the comments that was said to us um was like a few comments, a few of the chit chatter that I've heard from people really started once we put out that top 20 list. Yeah. That top 20, to be specific, yeah. the top 20 lyricist list. Because yeah. if y'all paid attention, we had two different lists. One was the best rappers, oh, yeah. which yeah. could mean just being hot. Like it don't mean like you're you, you got to be a top lyricist. Yeah. And then that's why we created the top 20 lyricists because we wanted to spotlight the people that, you know, really focus on the lyricism. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So once we did that, a lot of people started, yo, why am I not on the list? Oh yeah. I was yo, why you got such and such on the list? Seeing those comments, and I was like, "Y'all tripping? Man. Y'all y'all tripping about a list for? It's not even a bigger deal. It's really not. Like, it's it's not serious. Especially when you consider all the lists that all these other platforms drop, and yes. and, they, and it's always the same list. No offense to the streets, but it's always just street artists. The whole thing is always street rappers. It don't never really fully represent the full scope of the hip hop scene of Mobile. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we took it upon ourselves and our rap function committee, contrary to popular belief, people think I'm the one that just makes everything. No, I don't. It does not. We do this together. <laughs> we all do this together. This is a team It's effort. a team effort, bro. That's why everyone keeps coming at my neck. And I'm like, cool. I'm the face of UBH. That's fine. Y'all can come at my neck, but guess what? We do this together. You know what I'm saying? We sign off on everything together. And and sometimes when we don't sign off on things together, I make the exec, executive decision. So cool, I'll take the the brunt of people wanting, you know what I'm saying, hit me on my chin. It's all good, it is what it is. But I tell you what though, the people that we spotlighted on that top 20 lyricist list, pull that list up bro, cause I wanna shout out everybody on this list. Everybody on this list deserves to be on this list. You know why? Because they put in the work. There's a few people that I'm about to talk about and shortly after I shout out, give all my shout outs that made comments as to why they didn't make the list. And we are gonna tell you why you didn't make the list since you wanna know so bad. But first and foremost, we're here to shout out the people that's been putting in that work. And the key word is work. Yes, sir. Yes, you sir. feel me? I just don't know. Yes, so, so I'm gonna let me and my brother read off a few. You read off a few, I read off a few. Go ahead, bro. Jay Haynes, Zeta Bull, Ali Kazam, Unknown, Ken Z. Mm. Lando Armstrong, you King TG, it's the you Tim OG, it's the you Mantra, Mantra TMP, TMP. Big Brown, Picasso, McNasty, That Kid Mav, uh, Young HD, Piso Fabe, Malik Rose, Paper Trail, Titus Sincere. And to be honest with y'all, when we put out the list, it was initially around like I think 10 or 13. Mm-hmm. But then as people started mentioning other individuals that we forgot about, how could we not put McNasty on the list? How could we not put Titus Sincere on the list? Because we had people tell us, like, oh man, why'd y'all add more people? Because they deserve to be on the list, my man. Yeah. You can't tell me McNasty don't deserve to be on that list or Titus Sincere or it's a lot of everybody on this list. That kid, Mav, you know what I'm saying? Picasso, yep. Big Brown, like these individuals. And now let's get to it. Let's get to the conversation piece. James, you. You want to know why you wasn't on the platform? I mean, on the list, right? My G, it ain't no shade to you. Nobody, would, and, not, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but nobody was thinking about you. You know why? And once again, I don't mean it in a bad way. I just mean like everybody on this list has a lot of face value, meaning they're on the scene. I know you've been on the scene. I know you've done shows here and there, but these individuals are doing shows consistently, putting out projects, putting out songs, putting out everything. To be totally honest to you, my brother, I didn't even know that you was like rapping, rapping on that level. I didn't know you was... To this day, I don't even. I I told DJ Farrell, and he was like, "I don't even know who that is." I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I, I really don't even know who you is, man. Until he said, until Shadow said something about it. And the only reason I'm addressing you, Farrell. The only reason I'm addressing James, you. I believe that's his artist name is yeah. James. You. Yeah. The only reason I'm addressing you, because you called our platform. My. Oh no, we are gonna talk about it, my G. We got Shadow Talk podcast. 
You thought we wasn't going to talk? You thought she was going to throw a rock and hide your hand? It don't work like that over here, my G. You said mic check is poison? In what way, shape, or form is it poison, bro? Poison. You talking about a platform that spotlights up and coming artists and gives them a chance to grow and to get honest criticism from judges that are at that level, at that, that are level. real figureheads and important in the city. There you go. You telling me Big Dave ain't important? Big Brown ain't important? I can go on and on and on and on. We've had so many individuals that have come and judged. Matter of fact, I'll tell you this. I bet you didn't even notice. He participated on a mic check. Yep. Wow. I know what you're really mad at. You're mad. It, he called our platform Poison because he's mad he didn't get on the wow. top 20 list. Just say that. Don't come on our platform leaving clown gifts and laughing emojis and this and that, my G. We really care about the culture, my G. We really care about the ecosystem of letting younger artists come in the game and give them a platform where they can grow. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. the thing that we said, and this was controversial too, we never put out a worst rapper list. That's what really turned off a lot of people when we put out the notion of, hey, what if we drop a worst rapper list and the requirements are, and we put four requirements, which we did on purpose. You know why? So people can know how and where they need to grow. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Performing over your vocals, that ain't it. Copying and pasting your whole style, that ain't it. Not having a message and not standing for nothing and not studying the history of hip hop, that ain't it. These are the requirements that we put that said, hey, if you're doing all of these things, if we did put out a worst rapper list, that's who's going to make that list. And that list, if I'm just saying, we never put it together, but if we did, boy, that'd be a long list. <laughs> well, that'd be a long list. And that's, and that's a problem in Mobile that I'm noticing is like, a lot of people just lie to people, man. Stop lying to these people, man. I'm not saying tell them that they're bad or they suck or say something mean to them. Get them to, like, if, if people don't know how to take criticism, they don't want to take... You ain't going to be able to grow. Yeah. If you can't take criticism, you can't take what somebody else saying, the next person saying, and stride and grow with that, mm -hmm. you ain't going to get nowhere. At yeah. all. Especially for the that. rest of the world exactly. coming at you. Come on, man. Then you got all the rest of the world coming at you. You got baby mama drum, you got kids drum, you got this, you got that, you got this, you got all this shit going on. Why are you worried about what the next person going on? Whatever they saying, criticism you, what yeah. you doing in your profession, let that take you and grow. Yes. Now, back to James U. James U, my brother, from the performance that I witnessed at Mike Check that you did, you're not a bad rapper, right? The only thing we're saying is, my G, you got to have more work out there. Everybody on this list has been doing things for years, has put in a lot of work. I'm not saying you're not doing shows. I know you're doing shows. But my G, it takes more than a couple shows here and there, one song here and there. Like, we got to get out of that zone, man. There's people that's been doing it. I've been doing this for how many years I've been doing this, my G? Like 15 years? 15, 15 years so professionally, really taking this serious. You understand what I'm telling you? Like... Y'all got to be doing this on that level, man. You know, I'm not saying it's going to take that long, but I'm just saying, like, you got to be doing things consistently, showing face, building with... And it ain't even just about networking. For me, for us, it really comes down to the art, man. It's yeah, about the art, that's bro. The most, that's, the, that's the main thing for me. It's the reason why I'm even back I'm even in it. It's because of the art, the culture, the love of hip-hop, just learning new things overall. You know what I mean? We need to meet new people, all that type of stuff. But but what we can't stand for is you calling our platform poison, bro. No, no. You're not going to call our platform poison. And, we, and I'm not even going to take this as a chance to spotlight other platforms and say what they're not doing and how bad they are. I ain't going to do that because I love my city. No. I'm just going to let you know what we're doing. What we're, Our focus and our mission statement is to uplift the music scene in Mobile. Bring everybody together. Because I'm going to tell you something about the Mobile mentality. Let's get into that. I'm off James U. Well, actually, we'll get back to you in a second. I got some more to say about you. The Mobile scene right now is predicated, and it's always been like this for many years. We've been here for a long time. It's been predicated on hate. Everyone's sipping on Haterade. You know why? 
because it's a small town effect. Yes. You feel me? People yeah. haven't been outside of Mobile. They haven't seen how the rest of the world operates and thinks and how they move and how much love is out there, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of you being patient and having your moment where you can get yours and you can shine, no, you see what someone else is doing and it's a reflection of what you're not doing. Exactly. And what you lack. Exactly. So when y'all start to do that, you know what kicks in? Envy. Envy. Jealousy. jealousy hate. I won't say this. I'm going to say that about that person throwing shade and throwing this. Woo. And at the end of the day, you just mad because you're not in that same position that that person is in. Right. And we're but not. And, need, and, and you just need to put in that work to do the same thing that they doing. Elevate right. yourself. Read more books. Read, read this. Read that. And elevate yourself. Right. You know? Right. And, and, and it ain't no. We're not even going to do no. Oh. Point the finger at y'all and, and look how bad you are and look what no. you're not doing and this, that, and that. We ain't even gonna do none of that. that. You know why? Because we wanna see our city grow. Like, at one point, is our city gonna finally get out of that hating mentality, right? Like, I don't hate on nobody, and we don't hate on nobody in the city. Even if the message doesn't, you know what I'm saying, resonate with us, right? We know that, hey, this person is feeding their family. You know what I'm saying? Salute. We know how hard it is in today's time. Salute. I'm not going to hate on nobody. Mm -mm. But when you call our platform poison, you're trying to take food off our plate, bro. Yep. We doing too much in the city. We're contributing so much. Ain't no way you can keep trying to like take food off our plate, bro. Don't call our platform poison. Mm -hmm. Our platform was open arms for you, James U. So it leads me to this, because I want, I want to address this with him. A couple months back... I challenged you because you kept throwing a little slick shade at me. I don't know where this came from because I was just on the phone with you a few months back and we had a heart to heart and everything was good. We were speaking like brothers and everything because he's a righteous brother. I don't, I don't hate you. I don't not like you or nothing like that. I know you're a righteous brother. So why are you coming at me with this shade? You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the part I didn't like. So you know what I did? I did the real hip hop thing and said, hey man, if you got any issues with me, let's get in that battle rap ring. Let's get in that battle rap ring. Let's give some for, for the hip hop scene. And at the end of it, whoever wins, wins. And we shake hands and we move on. Yeah. Real man ish. Exactly. You know what he did? What? Said nothing. 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 No response. Didn't accept the challenge. Nothing. He didn't, he didn't even say anything back? Nothing. At all. Nothing. A couple months later, which is now when I seen the comments, calls our platform poison. Really? Huh. I gotta say something. So you took it upon yourself go from us back to not respond back to a challenge that Shadow spent but it clearly gave to you. Real you, you don't respond back to it. Then a couple of months later doing our mic check and rap open mic and all that other stuff. Then you wanna throw more you wanna throw more shade towards us like when we ain't heard from you in months. Bro. And then last night, after I seen those comments, you know, I, you know, Rap Function is a professional page. We don't do that back and forth with y'all on there. No. I went on my page and I addressed it as a man and I tagged him. I tagged him in a post and I said, hey, and I, we're going to get to everybody else I tagged, but I wanna, I'm going to start with him because it really started with him because he's the first comment I seen. And I said, yo, bro, let's get in that ring. Let's get in that battle rap ring. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? And you know what he did? Laughing emojis, just left laughing emojis. No comment, no nothing. Ken Z shares the post, he leaves more laughing emojis. Yo, my G, what, what we doing? If you wanna be on the top 20 lyricist list, my G, this is the way to do it. This is MC challenging you as a fellow MC to get in that ring and let's really battle it out. However you wanna do it, one round, three round, I don't care, my G. I'm really Goku out here, my G, I want the challenge. I want to get better. I'm not saying I'm the best. My work ethic will, ref will reflect when I am the best, right? Because to say you're the best, to me, that just screams, you're just shouting out your talent. I've done that before. I've made that mistake. I don't do that no more. Now I just let the work speak for itself, right? And then once the work gets to a particular point, and if no one's saying nothing about it, I'm going to remind y'all what it is. Like, hey, no, this is amazing what we're doing. Exactly. You feel me? Yep. So in regards to you, that's two times I've challenged you now, and you've dodged both times, right? Ken Z called me and said, you got bars written for me. If you got bars written for me, accept the challenge, my G. Let's book the date. Let's get in that ring. Let's do it. Real hip hop. 
And that's all I'm going to say about him. Okay, next topic. Yeah, let's get to the next topic. So, so that was good? Everything good? Okay, yeah, yeah. So there was five other individuals that I, I tagged, right? Two individuals I have no smoke with. The only reason I tagged the other two, and I'm, I'm, I'm naming names. Everyone's like, oh, why did you make the post and deactivate your page? First of all, it's Ramadan. And that particular page, I get a lot of hate energy on there a lot. And I'm starting to really grow as a man and learn not to take everything personal. So one of the ways for me to do that was to detach from social media. You feel me? I gotta do that sometimes. I gotta do that sometimes. Especially during Ramadan where it's about, you know, having a clean mind, clean spirit, clean tongue, clean ears, clean everything. I didn't want I didn't wanna have no energy. But when I seen that comment and I seen another comment that I'm about to address, it kind of sparked me to go on there and make that post. You feel me? So I got I got no ill will towards these particular two individuals, but um, these particular two individuals, I'm going to go ahead and name them because everyone was like, oh, why'd you deactivate your page? It's because, like I said, I just want to make the post just as a flare, just a bow, just to let everybody know, like, hey, I'm with the smoke. Let's get it. Like, I'm really, I'm a real MC. I'm really with the battle rap. You know what I'm saying? I'm not arrogant enough to just say I'm going to beat everybody because I respect everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not taking none of y'all lightly. I'm going in there thinking that there's a possible chance I might lose. Yeah. You think I'm going to take that lightly? Got to get to come in strong. Don't come in at all. You feel me? I'm going. I'm going in there full force. I'm not going in there playing around or any of that type of stuff. I'm not looking to choke or nothing like that, right? So let's get into the names. Let's get into everybody else I named. Ah oh, man, you already know it, man. You already know it, man. D Rock Moore, man. D Rock. Mm. First of all, you got about five different names. I don't even know what to call you. D Rock, Ronin Tai Chi. Curtis Metcalf, what's your name, man? You got about 15 different Facebook pages and IGs, and I don't even know who you are, my G. You got an identity crisis. What's going on, my man? He made a comment uh -huh. on our page where he said he hopped on the top 20 lyricists list. This is when we started updating the list more because we, we forgot certain names. Yep. That kid, Mav, we forgot to add him on. We added more people because rightfully so, they got to be on there. Yeah. You know what he said? Right. He said, Oh, they're adding more names because the per he didn't want to name my name, which we'll get into that too as to why you didn't want to say my name. He goes on and he's like, the guy that runs the page, first of all, I don't run the page. What? We all run the page. We all run UBH. We all run our effects, my G. He, uh, DJ, uh, wait a minute, has access to the page, access to the emails, access to anything. Like, I, first of all, we ain't got to prove none of that. This is what he said. He goes on there and he's like, the guy who's running the page is only updating the list because he's a he's a, he's follow farming. That's the first time I heard that phrase, follow farming. What is follow farming, my dude? <laughs> Man, say follow tell, farming. Tell me what that is, bro. You okay? I looked into it. Yeah, and it basically means like someone who's like desperate for attention and trying to get followers. In no shape or form have we ever been. We. I was just about to ask you. Desperate. When have we ever shown that? Ain't no way we've been desperate for no followers or no likes. Not at all. None of that. Because at, at the end of the day, there's not, none of that matters to us. Yeah. So I don't know where you get yeah. that from or that that even exaggeration of that even. I don't, even why we, I don't even know why would you even say that. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you know we don't. We ain't sitting here for cloud chasing. We ain't sitting here for no doing dramatic and talking about, oh, we need followers and this, that, or the third. No. Yes. We don't care about none Man, of that. Man, no cloud chasers. That's a great point. That's a great point, Pharaoh. So, However you can take it, however you want to take it, bro. We can get at it. Yeah. But I don't want to go to that point. When You know why? Because you're an OG. Exactly. You know? And, and, and it leads me to this. Why is an OG starting beef with me and with our platform? Isn't that kind of weird? Yes. It is weird. Why is the younger dude having to take the higher road? And by the way, this is the first time I ever spoke on you. The last time I spoke on you, I spoke on you kind of talking in circles. Now I'm addressing you straight up with your name because you've talked about us long enough. Now I feel like your heart is black. Why you got so much hatred towards us? You know what I'm saying? And salute to my brother Trey Vega. Me and Trey Vega had our, you know, joint everything. I know y'all saw it on season one. Me and Trey Vega is on good terms, man. Me and him had a long conversation. We met up a couple times. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
we met face to face. Me and him are good, man. We, what happened between me and Trey Vega is real hip hop. That's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah. He put out his records. I put out my records. We kept it on wax. After 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 the uh, the dust settled, okay, cool. It's over with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's up to the audience who won. I personally don't care. I'm past it. You know what I'm saying? I got I got I got other things to focus on. People really live in real life out here. You know. And that's where the issue started. Because Trey Vega is his homie. Oh, okay, I got, I got you. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So he sided with him. And a part of me felt some type of way about that at that time because it's like, with all due respect to Trey Vega, bro, you've been riding with me for years while Trey Vega was working and, and doing everything else kind of in chill mode, right? But dur during his chill mode, I've been putting in work. You've been coming to our shows, supporting, rocking with my music and everything. You consistently supported me that much only for right when the battle starts with me and him. After he's been in chill mode, you immediately pick his side. Jump out the window. And he didn't pick his side in like a respectable way. He picked his side in a way where like every time he made a post, he's jumping on there clowning me. So... You jump on his post time and time again and clown me after you've been supporting me for however many years. How you think I would take that? How would you take that? I take that. I, That's disrespect, right? And wait, you ain't doing nothing but trying to rob somebody clout. Who? That's it. Left and right, you want to come up, come to our, come to the shows and support and this, that, and that, but then you want to turn your back and talk all this crap about the man when he ain't doing nothing but trying to elevate himself and elevate his city. Thank you. Simple. Thank you. Y'all are tripping in this long. Yeah. Work, and, and, and you supposed to be an OG, bro. Yes. O, OG ain't supposed to move like this. I ain't even tell you this, bro. On some real man-ish. I know you probably not going to like this. I wrote a long message after the Trey Vega thing finished. And I sent it to him. And the mess. I forgot what I said in the message. But mm -hmm. it was something along the lines of like, yo, my G. The dust has settled. That battle is over with. You know what I'm saying? I took a personal that you chose his side. But it ain't worth, you know what I'm saying, burning the bridge between me and you and our brotherhood. Yeah. Cause I really, I really got love for bro. I really got love for bro. And I know he got I know right now whatever he's going through, gotta take, you gotta take that hatred out your heart, my G, because I know you got love for me. I don't know where this is coming from. Ain't no way you got this much hatred from a rap battle. Dude. A rap you, battle? You gonna be assaulted about that. Bro, you just don't. It, it's been so many times he's gonna be getting plenty of damn rap battles where he gonna offend somebody you might like, bro. What you getting offensive for? It ain't even that serious. Like, just tell us why. That makes no sense. I took the higher road, my G. I sent him the message. Oh, I understand. I tried. I know. I know. I'm just saying in in general. He tried. He read it. He didn't reply back. Nothing. Mm. Right. Nothing. And then it leads me to what happened after that. Yeah. Then Kanze Thousand jumps out the window. I never had a problem with Kanze Thousand. No, ever, bro. I, I know him. I've never, I never spoke on him in a bad way, ever. It's always the dudes that like you, 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 you show admiration to and you respect, at least yeah. in Mobile, from my experience, yeah. that switch up on you. Because yeah. at a certain point, y'all starting to make me feel like I'm a guest in hip hop. Why, why would I be a guest in hip hop? I'm a man of color as well. I'm not white. I'm not making it a racial thing. Y'all are. Because that's what it starts to make me think. Because y'all keep picking on me and picking on me and picking on me after a while, especially when there's no reasoning for it. No. And that's when I start thinking, is this a racial thing? No, real talk, bro. Yeah, I know what you mean. Are y'all really- I'm thinking that too. I'm thinking that same thing. Like, is it is really, is y'all going to him because he is it a racial thing? Y'all think he on baloney hip hop? He got just as much as the- Bring it to the hip hop culture as the next one of y'all do. He really do. He need to put in just as much time, just as much blood, sweat, and tears as any one of y'all out here. So y'all got to give him his respect on everything. I don't care how y'all look at it. Thank you, my brother. Simple. This DJ Farrell saying that. And this is my big brother right here from day one. From day one, since we would, since we, since we, would, since I was a shorty. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so let's address Kanze Thousand. But hold on, before I get to Kanze Thousand, I tagged D Rock and yep. I said, I, by the way, when he was throwing all the little shade and jumping on Big Brown's live and throwing shade at me and stuff, mm -hmm. because 
because me and Young still had a, a a battle that fell through at the time. Not on my part. I don't dodge no smoke because I'm tired of that narrative that Ali dodges smoke. Because every time y'all say I dodge smoke, I always ask when <laughs> and who, when, who. Where is this imaginary? I'm gonna tell you what it is, bro. Honestly, this is what I believe, bro. I think people paint these fake narratives about me constantly because I have no skeletons in my closet. No. I ain't nothing you can find about me. Ain't nothing you can find. And I'm not saying that in a way where like I'm better than y'all. Just I'm not I'm not speaking like that. I know. You know what I'm saying? I got my flaws like any other man. But my G, I ain't never done no true sin in life. I've never done nothing heinous in life. Like the people y'all be rubbing shoulders with. You know who they be rubbing shoulders with? Killers. Yeah. Drug dealers. Abusers, uh, 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 predators, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can go on and on and on, racist, on and on and on. This who, this who they rub shoulders with. But the guy that cares about his community, the guy that uplifts the hip hop scene, by the way, the guy that, in, in my messaging and my music, have I ever said anything destructive? No, and ain't nothing but positive, uplifting, positive words and inspiration and trying to just better himself and better his community. That's it. I don't hear no, no, if it, and that, barely no profanity in his, in his, none of his raps. And you ain't got to listen to him. You know why? Proof is in the music. Yes. Listen to the music if you think, if you think he's lying. Listen to the music. He ain't gas. I promise you. In UBH, we don't do all that gassing people up. He going to tell me, he's my brother. He going to tell me the real. You don't think he's pulled me to the side many a times like, hey, bro, you tripping, bro. You doing too much right here. Yo, we need to move like this because we real over here. Yep. Cause at the end of the day, it ain't nothing but about family, y'all. Facts. That's all we got. That's all Facts. We, we over here for. And, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Everybody we're addressing tonight on Shadow Talk Podcast. At the end of the day, after everything gets resolved, it's all family, man. I got yeah. love for all of y'all. It just, it just hurts to see. I'm not taking it personal, but it hurts to see that y'all are attacking me. You know what I'm saying? And attacking our platforms when we did this because of the conversations we had with a lot of y'all about what's missing in the scene. You understand? About what's missing in hip hop overall. This is what we doing it for, bro. For y'all to keep doing this to us, you know, at a certain point, my G, like I've taken the higher road so many times, at a certain point, my G, you gotta stand up for yourself. Exactly. And this is what it is, my G. I'm standing up for myself. We standing up for our platform, bro. It's the you, my G. We not doing this no more. Y'all not gonna keep throwing these rocks and hiding your hand, my G. Which leads me to back to what I was saying earlier. Mm -hmm. You hop on the post, but you can't put a name to it. Why can't you put my name to it? You know why? I'll tell you why. Because I challenged him on that live with Big Brown with the Young Steel joint when that fell through. I challenged him because he was mm -hmm. throwing little bars at me. I like, might you get in the ring? Quiet. Tumbleweed. Nothing. You got real quiet. Then you hop on the post still throwing hate, but you can't put a name to it. You know why? Because you know everybody going to be like, well, battle him then. Exactly. He don't want to battle, bro. He doesn't want to battle. If you don't want to battle, just say that. And if you don't want to battle, please stop speaking on my name. Stop throwing shade and stop leaving comments and emojis and all that shit. Just, just drop it. Just drop it. If you ain't ready to battle this man or you ain't prepared, leave the man alone. Let him elevate. Your ass elevate. Sorry. My bad, guys. They mean to. But... Let him elevate. Right, right. You mind yours, he mind his, you know, keep it moving. My G, do we ever speak on these dudes? No, we don't speak negative towards nobody in the- None of y'all. Nobody in the scene, nobody we, in hip hop. I wouldn't even have mentioned y'all right now had y'all not said nothing about us. We weren't even thinking about none of y'all, my G. You know what I'm saying? But we care about y'all and we know y'all are vital people in the city if you uplift yourself and get yourself out that gutter in your mind that you're in right now. All that hatred in your heart, man. Stop moving with all that hate in your heart, my G. That's going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt us. You know why? Because we're going to ignore it. We're going to keep persevering, my G. God got us. Allah got us. Yep. I promise you that. You yep. can't stop what God got in store for us. You could do all whatever y'all trying to do. It's not going to stop us. My G, I've never, ever address this. This is the first time I'm going to say this and I'm going to reveal this information just to prove a point. Let's talk about what happened at Rap Function 1. We never talked about this. First of all, let them know why we never spoke about what happened at Rap Function 1. I just, 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 so, just so they understand why we never talked about it. 
There's too much drama. Thank you. Really too much drama. Thank you. And we don't operate like that. Nope. We don't operate like that. Too much, too much drama and chaos going on with right. that shit. Right, right. Too much. In a nutshell, because, you know, there's other things I need to address, mm -hmm. but in a nutshell, Rap Function 1, the first one we ever did, we did it in a hole-in-the-wall spot that we rented out because we couldn't find a venue. And the show was phenomenal, man. We had probably like about, I want to say like, what, 80 people there? It was packed out. We got the pictures. We got the videos. It was phenomenal, right? And then there was a situation that happened, right? Yep. And... I'm not going to get into the details of the situation, but it, but the situation was dire and it was a dangerous situation, right? And how we looked at it was we felt like we were being sabotaged. We felt like there were forces that were coming in that were trying to mess up something that we were trying to, you know, contribute to the scene, yeah. right? Yeah. And we had a sit down afterwards and we decided, yo... Cause, Cause we had members on UBH that said, yo, let's put out an apology, let's address it. I'm like, apology? What we gotta apologize for? For what? For what? We ain't do nothing wrong. We didn't start none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, and without giving too many details, the situation that happened was, like I said, it was a dangerous situation between two individuals that had a conflict that have no attachment to UBH. We ain't got, we don't know them from a can of paint. <laughs> right? <laughs> These two dudes had a situation that shut down our whole show towards the end of the night. Thank God we still had a whole show go and everybody dipped for their own safety, right? And then we felt like, yo, if we talk about this, people might get scared to come to future events. Guess what? It's the two year anniversary of RFX. <laughs> Where'd y'all stop? Nothing. Where'd y'all stop? <laughs> I just want to say that just to prove a point. You can't stop what God got in store for us, my G. You can't stop it. Take the hatred out your heart, my G. Expect like James, you and D Rock, D and Cons. Like these dudes is older dudes. Like you know, James is younger, but these dudes is grown men. Like why y'all got hatred in your heart like that? You know, mm -hmm. especially when it's the real hip hoppers. Like y'all supposed to represent real hip hop. How do real hip hop dudes switch up on us? But the street dudes rock with us now. They love us. Who would have guessed that? I thought it would have been the other oh, way around. The other way around. Me too. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. It's crazy, my G. It's we honestly, it's weird. Yeah, it is. Right, like on God, it's weird. So let's get to the Kanz 8000 thing. So Kanz 8000 um, jumped out the window during the Trey Vega situation. And he put out a disc record. I believe he, he since took down that disc record because me and him spoke. Because mm -hmm. I genuinely, I called him. I genuinely was like, yo, why are you disrespecting me? And he said some very heinous comments about me that were extremely racist. Extremely racist. He threw his own cousin that's passed away under the bus. Mm. I'm not saying this. He said it on, on his own record. I'll tell you the exact line he said. He said, he said, my cousin died on 9-11. Your cousin died in 9-11. Trying to, trying to say I'm, I'm a terrorist or something, right? For the sake of a bar, I just want to show you the character that these guys are. Look at the look on his face. I just want to show you the character of these individuals. For the sake of a bar, you threw your own family member that's passed away under the bus. And on top of that, to make a racial bar, I see why you took down that record. You was gonna get a lot of backlash from that, buddy. Yeah. Love it. Good. See why you took down that record. And I called him because I was so offended. I was so deeply offended, right? Yeah. Because all the conversations I've ever had with Kanz 8000 prior to that was healthy, good conversations, right? Yeah. And I respect that man. I respect what he's done for the city. I respect his legacy. I respect A Stacks, at least at that time. After you did that and you disrespected me the way you did, my G. And just jumped out the window and said the heinous racial thing that you said like that, my G. What choice do I have but to be offended? You understand what I'm telling you? So I still took the higher road and I didn't comment on it. I called him and I said, what's the problem? We hashed out our issues. He took down a record. I said, okay, cool, respect. And I left it alone. Huh? Never spoke on him again, right? Right. After that happened, 
like maybe like a I don't even know how long the time period was, maybe like a month or two later, mm -hmm. he hops on his page on his Facebook and somebody uh um hit me to his page and they were like, Hey, go look at um go look at Kanze Thousand's uh, Facebook page. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. I go look at his page. Guess what his profile picture was? A unicorn dying. <laughs> Wow. Oh, it gets worse because people might think that's a reach. I looked at his banner. You know how you can have a banner on Facebook? Yeah. It said, The Last Unicorn. I looked it up. It's a movie. But I ain't take it like that. You know our label was called Unicorn Bounty Hunters. I already got the little message. What you you feel me? Do, I already peep the game on what you were doing. Why would you do that after we just squashed everything? And for anybody out there that still thinks I'm reaching, I'm, I haven't finished the story. I make a post and I say, hey, somebody go tell Kanz 8000, what, what's bruh's problem, bro? Ain't you in your 50s? Why you got a problem with a young man trying to feed himself and uplift himself? Contrary to popular belief, I don't come from money, my G. I'm a real slum village kid. And I'm prideful about that. I came from nothing, bro. So for you after that, to do that and keep throwing a little subliminal shade and, and whatnot that you keep saying about me. My G, my G, I took, I took offense to it. You understand what I'm telling you? I took offense to it and I don't appreciate it. And I just feel like, why would you say that? I just feel like, why would you say that, bro? You feel what I'm saying? Why would you say that about me? Why are you keeping it? Throwing a little shade and this and that and the third at us, right? So after I after I said that to him, golly. <laughs> after I said that to him, right? He makes a he makes um another post and he changes both of his images. And this was the most dumbest thing I ever seen, bro. Mm. Cause all it did was help us out. He changed his um profile picture into my album that I had dropped at the time, TLOL. <laughs> <laughs> and then he changed the banner to um my banner right now that I got where I'm holding all the albums with Kobe, uh -huh. like like championships. Yeah, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing, bro? Like, you giving me more? Like, you thought that was gonna hurt me? Oh man! Wow, that's I ain't got nothing else to say. Man's is in his fifties, bro. I know. Is that ch that's childish? Bro. That's childish, bro. I'm just gonna say it like that. Maturity holds no age. I have definitely learned that in this lifetime. Like it doesn't. It, it really it doesn't. don't. A kid could be more mature than you. Yes. And y'all supposed to be grown men, and y'all keep doing this stuff. And for everybody out there that's gonna, cause this the thing in Mobile, it's a lot of sensitivity. Even Ooh. me, even me speaking on all of this, my G, people gonna get so mad about it. Yes. Do you understand how many people are attacking my character and painting these fake narratives about me and my brotherhood? At a certain point, and the point is now. Season two, Shadow Talk podcast, episode one with my brother DJ Farrow. Yes, sir. We gonna talk about it. We gonna address all you cornballs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all. Yeah. Funny. So he was the other. He was the other individual I tagged in the post, and um, and I ran into him when I did. Uh, we got a Shadow Talk episode dropping with uh, with Ink the Amp. Salute to my brother Ink the Amp. Infinite love. Um, I ran into him over there because he's homies with Ink as well. And and he he threw like some shade at me right there too. He was like, "Oh yeah, I feel you getting on a battle rap scene, but you know, uh, I'm not somebody that you should battle though. You, you should you shouldn't battle me because I've been doing it for so long and I got such a history and da 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 da." My G ain't nobody scared of you, my G. My G, I challenge you to a battle rap. Get in that ring and we'll do it at H stacks. I don't care. I'm Goku out here, my G. See, I had I was just a challenge right there, my boy. Yeah. Accept the challenge. Accept the challenge, my G. Let's go. Stop disrespecting me and talking about my name, bro. Enough is enough, my G. All I ever showed you was respect. And now I know you probably didn't deserve it. I never knew how you felt about me. You and D-Rock, Curtis, Ronan Tai Chi, whatever your name is. <laughs> I call him Old Fart. That's what his name is. Old Fart. You and Old Fart need to stop disrespecting me and talking about me, my G. Okay? Look, them dusty farts y'all be spitting out, enough is enough. <laughs> oh, I got jokes. I'm a comedian. Y'all mess with the wrong one, bro. It's a real Corey, Corey Holcomb energy, 5150 energy tonight. 
Shadow talk, baby. Get them spirit guns loaded. So yeah, so Kanz 8000, the challenge is out there. My hand is extended. Let's do it, right? Leading on to the next person I challenged. I ran into Young Steel at Boo Diddley Studio. Shouts to my brother, Boo Diddley, Sturdy Podcast. Y'all go check that out. I was on there. I ran into Young Steel, right? Mm -hmm. And he, he, he did some weird stuff. Like, he challenged me behind the scenes. Like... Ken Z reached out to me and said, Young Steel wants to battle you. I'm like, why did he say it publicly? Yeah. Oh, because because what? Because he's scared? Because he thinks I'm I'm easy pickings? No, nah, my G. It ain't it ain't gonna be easy over here. It ain't gonna be easy. And I'm not taking you lightly either. You know what I'm saying? You might have writers and people writing for you. I don't know. Yep. I I I gotta come slay heads, my G. I'm not playing. I'm gonna get my respect. Y'all not gonna keep disrespecting the kid, right? So Young Steel put out the challenge at the time. I accepted it. I called him out publicly on Big Brown's Live. Actually, Big Dave and Ron G tagged me and him and were like, what's up? Guess what he said? The man gonna go, oh, y'all trying to bring me out of my, out of my, uh, y'all trying to bring me back into rapping again? Let me get out of my funk. Huh? <laughs> How you gonna challenge me and now all of a sudden act like, oh, he would challenge you. you, but then he gonna say, oh, y'all trying to bring me out of my... <laughs> Don't that sound like somebody that's scared? Yes, it does. That that do it sound like me. Cause you challenged him, but then gonna say, comment and say, Oh, y'all trying to bring me out of rapping again. What? You challenged him first, man. You challenged me. I ain't I never said your name, my G. Don't challenge me and not all of a sudden act like you scared. Don't know, don't do that, bro. So I made a post and I at that after that time, I made a post and I was like, bro, this dude's scared, my G. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He comments on the post is like, when did I back out? When did, when did I say I did? That's the point. You didn't say nothing. You didn't agree to it. You didn't, you didn't book it. You didn't respond. You didn't do nothing. And and he responded finally. He finally responded and said, let's do it. So now we're in the process of finding a venue to to house the battle rap series that we about to start. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, Young Steel is official. Ali Kazan versus Young Steel. You know what I'm saying? It's official. Um, we just gotta find the date and and find the yeah, venue. That's what I was gonna ask next. We, we date and all that stuff. Yeah. As far as right, so you have y'all right. You know, that's the process now. Okay, that's good. the process now. So, you know, so the sentence is both sentence, the sentence is accepted and everything. Y'all is waiting on it. Okay, facts. So, right, we we in the process of doing that now. So young still, um, you know, respect, respect. We in there now. We in there. We got one officially booked. Um, now we got to get to Cons and D-Rock and James U, all these old hating old busters, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, let's get to the other two names that I mentioned off GP, right? Because I'm a smart man. The reason why I mentioned these two names and the names are Uncle CJ and Mr. Boss. The reason why I mentioned those two names is because me and Uncle CJ have, have had friction in past years and there was rumblings of me and him having a battle rap or whatever. And then Mr. Boss has been throwing, I don't, I swear to God, I have, I don't know Mr. Boss from a can of paint, my G. I don't know him. I don't know what he has against me. I don't, maybe he just, it's just in his nature because he's a battle rapper. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I just want to let Mr. Boss know, we respect your legacy over here, my G. We give flowers, my G. We ain't hating on you or nothing like that. And and the same thing go for CJ. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we got respect for both of y'all. But I just wanted to say both of y'all's names so the whole city knows I'm not trying to pick on these individuals while dodging the big boys. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not going to dodge the big challenges. No, I'm going to throw their name in there too, right? Yeah. And through the grapevine, it got back to me that CJ, we're going to handle our situation and we're going to resolve a man-to-man -man conversation face to face. So I respect that. So we good on that. Okay. Mr. Boss, you know, I had advice given to me, salute to my big bro, Big Dave. He told me, yo, Mr. Boss, leave him at the end because he has a real legacy in the battle rap scene of Mobile, far as RS League, shouts to DJ No Sweat, and everything he's done. And then we seen his battle with Ken Z. I feel like Ken Z did great, by the way. Yeah. But he won, obviously. He had the better performance. And so we know the capabilities of Mr. Boss. So he told me like, yo, you ain't never, you've done the online rap battles, but you ain't never done it live. Nah, it's nah. different live, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So he's like, respect his work, his work and what he's put out. Don't just 
jump out the window and go straight to him, mm. you might lose. You yeah. might embarrass yourself. Yeah. So due to that, I took my big homie's advice and I said, all right, cool. I'm going to leave Mr. Boss all the way at the end after I got a few under my belt. You know what I'm saying? I got some experience. And then I'll get to bro, yeah. right? Yeah. If we still have any type of friction, because I really don't know where the friction is coming from. Mm -hmm. And if everyone out there wondering what the friction is, he just keeps leaving laughing emojis on a lot of our mm -hmm. posts. Like the top 20 lyricist list, by the way. And I and I and I told him I cleared the air with why he wasn't on the list. The list was not a battle rap list. Mm -mm. It's a music list. Like I asked him, where's your music at? I didn't say it offensively. I just asked, like, genuinely, where's the music at? If you show me a couple albums in the past couple years, I'll put you on the list right now. He didn't. He said, he's, I don't, I forgot what he said, but he just kind of like put like more laughing emojis. And I was like, that's why you're not on the list. It has nothing to do with your skill set. We know you're highly skilled. It has everything to do with the amount of, um, you know, music you're putting out. Yeah. That's it. That's all it's about. So salute to um, CJ and salute to Mr. Boss. We ain't got no hate towards y'all. Um, so yeah, so I put I put their name on there off GP just to show people that I'm not scared. You know what I'm saying? I respect those brothers, but I'm not scared. You feel me? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so that's everybody on the list that I had tagged and all, 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 all the problems and everything. Yeah, man. Yeah. So with that being said... I just want to also point out a few things. You notice like in Mobile when you're a leader or I feel like anywhere in the world when you're a true leader, it's a it's a lonely journey. Yes, it is. It's a lonely journey. The more you level up, the more hatred gets thrown at you, the more rocks get thrown at you, the more people switch up on you. And I really don't understand why it's like that, but it is. And due to that, I just been going through it so much, man. Just been going through it so much. And 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 if it if it wasn't for my brotherhood in my corner and UBH in my corner, man, I'd be lost out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm grateful that I have brothers like DJ Pharaoh, Slifer, uh, Lando, uh, uh, DJ. Wait a minute, you know, everybody on UBH, man. It's too many to name. Everybody on UBH. You feel me? Which leads me to say. I already made that point earlier. Um, but I'm at the point now where it's like I'm embracing the ones that are embracing us, right? Yeah. I'm not I'm not rocking with anybody just because they're real hip hop anymore. Like, cool, you might turn me on because oh, that person's real hip hop, but I gotta I gotta meet you and see what your character is and see if you're an honest person, if you're a good person, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think I think I'm gonna let you speak on this, but individuals like me and you that stand on nobility and righteousness, I think in Mobile, people really think that's corny. Yes, they do. They really think that, oh, if I mean, I'm not doing or doing drugs, or I'm not going to the club every night and spending money on this, spending money on that, and buying all this jewelry and all this other junk, that is supposed to impress somebody. Really, at the end of the day, that's not what we're about over here. We're about trying to elevate ourselves, grow as individuals, individuals and artists, and just bring ourselves together. Mm -hmm. That's it. And bring the city together. That's that's all we trying to do, right? That's it, right? You know, and I ain't got nothing against street rappers or hip or, or nothing like that or people that's trying to do what they do. I ain't got nothing against that. But over here, we not about that. We're about uplifting and elevating ourselves and helping the next person tonight. Right? That's it, you know. And I'm gonna stand on what we doing right now. Y'all all can just. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm not saying ain't nothing wrong with that. It's ain't nothing wrong with that. Do what you do. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm not gonna rock with somebody that's got a negative inf not, that got negative influence and try to come in, come in and try to sabotage what we got going on. So if that's what you about, stay over there with all that. We over here with positive influence, positive affirmations, and everything like that over here. Simple. Hey man, you right. You right, my brother. Honestly, because you know, in regards to what you just said too, another comment I forgot about was yeah. I had a few individuals reach out to us because, you know, on our mic check platform, rap function platform, we do business, right? Yes, business. We 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 do business because we have to we gotta keep the lights on. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know where people get this notion where they get offended by thinking everything is just free. No, it ain't no we ain't doing this for no free. He gotta get paid. I gotta, I gotta get paid. paid. DJ, wait a minute, gotta get paid. The the venue gotta get paid. 
God dang, the flyers, the advertising. Yeah. The, bro, do you know how much work goes into it? Do you know how many people, ask Tim OG, ask Young HD, ask anybody that really puts together shows and tries to put, they know how hard it is. It's hard, bro. For us, it's, it's a little bit easier because we got a whole team and we got used to it and we're just doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. But my G, we can't do everything for free. Mm -mm. So we had a few people reach out and they were like, yo, man, why y'all charging for media packages? And for anybody out there that doesn't know what a media package is, so when artists come perform, say on like mic check, we record their whole set that they perform, right? Mm -hmm. And then we sell it back to them at a very minimal price, $10, $15, $20. It just depends, right? Yeah. We, we sell it to them at a low rate, right? We just recorded your whole set and DJ Wait A Minute has the, the actual microphone, audio, and the music all attached. It ain't just picking up off the speaker, right? It's real professional work, my man. We putting in all that work to record, yeah. to do the videography, to render, to edit. You want all that to be given to you for free. Come on, man. No. Come on, man. It ain't fair. I'm going to tell you why it ain't fair. Because, and once again, it's business. All these other platforms, they charge. Why can't we charge? Mm -hmm. And we ain't got to explain ourselves. This is, we do honest business, my G. Ain't nobody in Mobile or in the world that could say they've ever done bad business with UBH. Ever. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Y'all can keep clowning and making y'all's jokes about, oh, they think they're high and mighty because they righteous and they noble and da 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 They ain't even like that, bro. bro. What you want to think? That's what you want to think. Yeah, we we righteous and we buy, we 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 this, that, and the third. But at the end of the day, bro, it's about the music. We ain't with all that disrespectful and being, y'all want to be on our rap function, though. Too. But you want to disrespect us. Too. How is that fair? How that makes sense? Yeah. Once y'all explain that to me and y'all can stop asking for free this, free that, and from now on, for this day forward, Ain't nothing for free. Yeah. Nothing. And then on top of that, we don't even really be taxing people no. like that, bro. And then prices what, be so what fair. You mad about the prices, but our prices is not that much. 10, 15, $10, 10, 15. $10. 10. Are you serious, Shay? Yeah. Tickets don't even our tickets don't even be that much. They be 25 online at the dope, maybe 10, 15 at the dope. Like $10. Come on. Mike chicken, ten dollars, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like y'all really like. Like if y'all if y'all go to any other show, it bro. might be thirty dollars at the door. Facts. Maybe maybe twenty five at the door. Facts. Online it might be thirty thirty five online. Facts. Like come on, yep. we're doing good for eighty dollars. Like come on, bro. Come on, my G. Stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. Y'all keep trying to attack our character, and it started to make me think like there's something else going on. There's an underlying tone, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why I said earlier on the pod. Is it racial? Yeah. Right? Yeah. But it can't fully be racial because I'm not the only one that represents UBH. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's many different walks of life that represent our label UBH and our, our platforms. So maybe a part of it is racial in regards to me, but then there's other parts of it that just make me think like, what's up with y'all, bro? Why y'all keep backing corny stuff and violence and ignorance and women making a fool of themselves and, and being half naked and, mm -hmm. and degrading themselves. The same women back in the 2000s that said, hey, Nelly, you can't swipe on her cheek like that. We're going to cancel you. Nelly was one of the first ones that tried to remember when they tried to cancel Nelly. He was one of the first ones trying to get canceled back then. Them same women now is like degrading themselves. And we don't stand for none of that. But we're the ones getting attacked. Yep. Make it make sense, man. If you want things to get better, you got to allow for better to come in. Preach on it, brother. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I see we choosing sides, aren't we? Who? You're on the wrong side, though. Come back I'm over here. On You're on the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> we lit over here. Come on the light side. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking at what else we got, what else we got to talk about and address. We already talked about the mobile mentality. Yeah. We already talked about leadership, embracing who embraces you. Yeah. Right. We already talked about how. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This is what I want. We talked, we touched on this a little bit, but let's get into it all the way. Okay. A lot of these individuals, you notice they side with other individuals that just as bad as them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 
It's like the, the killers get with each other, the drug dealers get with each other, the 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 the, 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 the ratchet girls get, the ignorant people get with it. like, bruh. And then they and they all point their finger at us because because we ain't got nothing we, that you could find. No, we ain't even in that in no, no categories with y'all. We, like, are you a killer? Nope. Nothing are nothing. you a predator? Nope. Are you a pedophile? Nope. Are you an abuser? No. Nope. Are you a drug dealer? No. Nope. Are you a drug addict? No. Nope. I just want to know, bro. No. Nope. Are you a thief? <laughs> no. Nope. Robber? No. Nope. What? Nope. What are we doing? Nope. Why y'all hate us so bad, bro? I don't think it's us. And I learned this from a couple self-help books that I've been reading. Mm -hmm. I learned that when people do that and attack you, don't take it's it personal. It's because you do it's exactly you. what you're doing. You do. We doing exactly what we're supposed to be doing. doing. You're... In a state of your existence and your mind Facts. that you're mad about shit. Facts. And I apologize for my cussing again, guys. Yeah, Sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's precisely what he said. That's what it is. It ain't got nothing to do with us. It's the fact that, once again, we're a mirror reflecting what you lack. Exactly. Right? So you get mad at it like, man. like It's people taking out their traumas, their childhood traumas, early 20s, whatever happened in their lives. They taking it on, on on us because they see that we stand for the right things, right? Yep. So due to them not standing for the right things or making huge, big mistakes in their lives, they want to hold... How you want to hold your mistakes against us? What we got to do with your mistakes? We just mm -hmm. pointed out to you, we're none of those things. We ain't got a body on our hand, my G. When we meet our maker, we good. Yep. I promise you that. Can we say the same about you? Real shadow talk. <laughs> hey man, this might be one of the best episodes we done ever did, bro. Me too, I'm loving this. Like, like we done addressed everything, my G. Like these folks really like think we playing around. And, and look, and 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 I'm gonna say this too. He's his own man. He gonna speak for himself. But me personally, yes, I ain't no tough guy, my G. I'm, I'm not a tough guy either. But I'm gonna stand my ground. I'm a man though. I'm gonna stand my motherfucking ground. I'm, 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 I'm a man though. Yep. Right. Yep. And at a certain point as a man, I got my boundaries and you can't keep habitually line stepping in the words of Dave Chappelle. Y'all some habitual <laughs> line steppers, my G. I get that. You feel me? Y'all keep stepping over these lines and disrespecting us and disrespecting me and trying to pick on me because y'all think like, so let me, let me address the individuals out there that want to pick on me on some street, on some street type energy. If you pick on me on some street type energy, you know what I'm going to do because I'm a civilian. I'm taking you to court. <laughs> Maji, I'm taking you to court. Maji, I'm suing you. Maji, I'm calling my three favorite numbers, 911. Call it 911, Maji. I'm not a tough guy. And for anybody out there that wants to jump me, jump him, jump us, you know what we do have? It's called protection. And it's legal, by the way, right? We're going to protect ourselves. Y'all not going to come over here and try to attack us in any kind of way. No. You understand what I'm telling you? Cause we don't go attack people. We're not bullies. Y'all are some bullies, bro. And I'm gonna tell because we got real, real street ties now. Not street. I ain't gonna say it like that. We got real street individuals that got love for us, yeah. right? Yeah. I, I ain't gonna call them street demons. I'm gonna call them street angels. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. We got real street angels that rock with, and I ain't gonna name names, but we got a, a great amount of them that really love us, that rock with us, that know our movement, that know what we stand for, that know our trajectory in life and what we're doing with our with our empire that we're building mm -hmm. and our contribution, not only to hip hop, but to mankind, yeah. right? Yeah. Y'all keep thinking it's a joke and y'all could keep thinking whatever, whatever, but my G, we really doing it, my G. Funny how it's always the people that ain't putting in no work that's hating on that's us. That's hating on the people that's actually doing it, putting in that work and actually doing the right thing. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, boy. Hey man, so with that being said, man, look, Rap Function, March 29th. Yes, sir. Get your tickets at pushcinema.com. The link is in the description. Mic Check is officially a staple in the city every month. So any new artist or any artist, honestly. And by the way, to clear the air, Mic Check is open genre. What that means is you can literally do anything and come present your talent in front of a group of judges. And you know what I'm saying? And when you win, you get an automatic spot on Rap Function, and you get a free music video by Zaire251. Facts. Okay? So it's a big deal, and you get that bragging rights of being the champ. You feel me? So, um, 
Pull up on mic check is open genre, whether you do spoken words, whether you sing, any genre, like rap, whatever you do, we got you. Mic check is for you. We 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 here for the people, my G. Like contrary to whatever people are saying about us. And you know what? I'm gonna say this too, because you said this in the car. Mm -hmm. They're this hate club that we got. Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah, never knew. Yeah, talk about that. Yeah, the hate club, they, they ain't doing over fueling us the positive energy, the negative energy y'all bring it to us. It ain't doing over giving, giving, you know, uh, helping us out at the end of the day. Well, That's you need to hire a publicist. Well, we're not doing nothing, because at the end of the day, you see now commenting on this or commenting on that. That ain't at the end of the day. That don't do nothing but help us out. Yup. Positive, it, it could be good positive energy. It could be negative comments. At the end of the day, guess what? You are still talking about us. Facts. Keep talking. So it don't really make no difference. So keep on, keep on with the shade. Keep on with the shade, y'all. Yay. You know what I'm saying? Keep on with the shade. Because guess what happens with a whole bunch of shade? You get that shadow talk. Yes, you do. Oof. Stay tuned, y'all. Back for more shadow talk. Gonna holler at y'all.